I was asked to graph the equation y equals negative x plus 5. So let's give it a try. Let's start by using a table of values. And then once we've done that, we can go and actually use slope intercept formula. So table of values, how about start with 0? Because negative 0, that's just 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. How about 1? Negative 1 plus 5, that's 4. And then 2. Negative 2 plus 5, that's 3. So these are the points we'll graph for the linear equation here, y equals negative x plus 5. So we have x is 0, y is 5. So right there. x is 1, move over 1, y is 4. And you could just use two points. I like to use three in case I made an error up here. x is 2, y is 3. So 2 and then up to 3. And you can see our line there. Let's put a line through that. And then we'll put arrows here to show that this goes to infinity. So this is the graph for y equals negative x plus 5. Let's take a look at using slope-intercept formula to do the graph. So we have y equals mx plus b. So b, that's the y-intercept, so that's going to be 5. So we go over here to y equals 5, and that's where the line crosses the y-axis there. That's our y-intercept. For the slope, why don't we say instead of negative x, negative 1x? It's the same thing, it's just now we have a 1 there. And then we're going to put this over 1, because that means we'll have rise over run. And when we graph it, we go to our y-intercept, and we'd rise. But since it's negative 1, we're going to go down instead of rising. Then we go over 1. And there's a point on our line. Again, we go down 1. Since we have negative 1, we rise negative 1, which is just going down 1 over 1. And you can see you can just keep doing this down 1 over 1 and all the points will be on our line. So that's how you use slope-intercept formula to graph y equals negative x plus 5. Real quick, just going back to our table, I could have chosen any values here. I chose these values just because it's convenient they fit on the graph. But any value you choose for x, you'll get a value for y, and that point somewhere on the line here. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation y equals negative x plus 5. Thanks for watching.